energy independence sound like a dream? Well, it's a reality in thousands of German homes where solar panels and batteries work together to supply nearly all of their domestic energy needs. We travel to an area of the country that's now known as the Energy Village. There's something empowering about producing your own power. So says Marcus, who's generating almost all his own energy. Uh, it's, it's pretty great because uh, normally we really try to save energy and sometimes now we can even waste it because we got enough in, 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 in the battery left. Solar panels on the roofs of homes is nothing new. What's revolutionary here is how they're being combined with batteries so that the solar electricity produced is now available 24 hours a day. It takes the, the electric power right from our roof. Uh, we get it over the panels and then uh, um, it is saved within the sonnen battery here and we just can use the electric power during the whole day and save it here and use it also by night. Germany is well known for its energy revolution. The country is ditching nuclear, weaning itself from fossil fuels and enthusiastically embracing renewables. So it comes as no surprise that this combined solar battery system is homemade by German firm Sonnen Battery, the world's largest manufacturer of residential energy storage. In Germany, we have 1.7 million solar systems. They are all owned by citizens. So what we see is that consumers become producers. And yes, there's a dramatic shift. If you become a producer, why should you pay for your electricity? You're your own producer. And all we do is we link them together to become a sustainable and effective utility. The systems have not only been designed to bring energy independence, they're autonomous decision makers as well. The Zon battery is an intelligent system that is adding weather data to the consumption data of the customer. We know when the solar is running, we know when you are consuming electricity, and we are adding to that equation weather data to make the right decision to enable you to consume as much of your electricity at home as possible. For example, if you have your washing machine set in the morning, you leave to work, and if the sun comes out, our system is recognizing that, and it will activate the washing machine while you are at work to make sure that it is run purely on solar. These intelligent, independent energy systems are the beginning of a fundamental transformation in the way we get our energy. And in an attempt to deliver complete energy independence, Sonnen Battery have launched an energy sharing platform known as Sonnen Community. The company believes it could dramatically shake up conventional utilities. Zonen Community has two aspects for the customer. The first one is that you can share electricity that you do not need yourself at home. And if you need surplus electricity, you simply pull it from a community of connected consumers. The second aspect is that our community members actually allow grid operators to balance the grid, to stabilize the grid. In return, we as a community get money and this money is transformed in free electricity, so our customers have guaranteed free electricity bills. It's shaking up the energy system and posing a threat to the existence of traditional utility companies. And for many people in Germany, it can't happen soon enough. Mobile phones are now helping Kenyans connect to off-grid electricity supplies. We travel to Entisopia in southern Kenya to see how a solar microgrid is transforming lives. This text message is a reminder to top up credit, but not mobile phone credit, electricity. My balance now is 200, so the power is now on. Margaret runs a hairdressing business 200 kilometers south of the capital, Nairobi. She powers it with electricity from a local solar microgrid operated by smart metering technology company, Steamerco. Now the microgrid is easier to pay because I just have to use my phone I go through M-Pesa, I put the amount that I want as low as 50 shillings and, and onwards, up to 1,000, depending with what I want to use. Like two-thirds of the Kenyan population, she has no access to electricity via the nation's grid. So when the sun goes down, the light goes too. But not anymore for the residents of Entisopia, which is the site of an 8-kilowatt solar microgrid providing electricity to around 65 households and businesses. In the past, 
businesses like this electronics repair shop had to use expensive and polluting diesel generators. But Kenya's abundant supply of sunlight is finally being exploited, and this cashless, off-grid electricity supply is transforming the local economy. In the past it was a very difficult situation because I'm not able to have a workshop like this because there's no power. But since I, uh, the microgrid came around, I'm able to repair some mobile phones and more equipment. Individual solar systems are expensive, but Steamaco realized what was needed are small, affordable systems where customers only pay for the electricity they use. Close to the equator, and rarely a day passing without sunshine, Kenya is an ideal location. Power is primarily generated by solar panels. It has an inverter which converts power from direct current to alternating current. And we have a battery bank that during the day when the, the sun is a lot, some of the energy is being stored for nighttime use by the customers. It's a complex system made simple. Steamaco's solar microgrid project uses smart meters and smart technology. And because it's all automated, no bills are sent or meters read. It has a system that allows the customers to pay as they go using their mobile devices and there's the providers like ourselves are able to monitor remotely without necessarily having anyone on the ground. The United Nations calls renewable energy the golden thread connecting economic growth, social equity and environmental sustainability. Indeed, projects are quite literally changing lives, including many young lives. We used to have a kerosene lamp here at home it was smelly and hurt my eyes and I couldn't study after the sun went down. Now that we have this solar lamp, I'm able to do my evening homework and I'm improving my grades at school. Providing energy for developing countries is so important for their development. As we've just seen, their microgrids in Kenya are absolutely transforming lives. Yeah, absolutely. Energy access is a, is a huge issue. Uh, in 2015, the world adapt, uh, adopted the Sustainable Development Goals. Mm -hmm. uh, the idea is to provide energy access to everybody by 2030. Now, today, we are in a situation where 1.2 billion people don't have access to electricity. Wow. And 2.7 billion people don't have access to clean cooking facilities. Wow. So really, this is a big thing. Mm -hmm. And indeed, renewable energy is often abundant in those countries that have very big problems with energy access. So what are the opportunities to replicate this elsewhere? And also, could this be the solution to people using more harmful um, forms of energy, like kerosene, like firewood? Could solar energy be a solution to that? Yeah, absolutely. So it's important to, to recognize that the bad air quality coming from using these solutions causes about three and a half million premature deaths every year. So indeed, using electricity via uh, induction uh, processes, an induction heater, is a way to have cleaner access to cooking, which solar PV is becoming increasingly interesting for. Can you explain for us the difference between energy from solar panels and solar thermal, and why is the latter more popular these days? Sure. Uh, actually, it's not that complicated. So. Um, for solar thermal, what you do is you take the sunlight uh, that comes from the sun mm -hmm. and you first convert it to heat. So you need to concentrate it in most cases. And then uh, with this heat, you can either use it directly or you can drive a turbine to produce electricity. In a solar panel, the sunlight hits the surface and actually via something that's called the photoelectric effect, uh -huh. you directly generate electricity. Okay. Now, this direct way of generating electricity in solar cells is actually much closer to the same technology that we use for computers, for mobile phones, for flat screen TVs. And these have much quicker cost reductions than all the other forms of generating electricity. Now, this cost reduction and this increased competitiveness is one of the most important reasons why solar panels are more popular than solar thermal. Simon, thank you so much for being with us today in Paris. Thanks for having me, it's been a pleasure. As we've seen, solar energy is clean, 
unlimited and increasingly cost effective. And it's proving to be a shining example of a renewable energy source pivotal in the world's transition towards a low carbon economy. We hope you enjoyed the show and as always we'd love to hear from you. Join in the conversation on Twitter at CNBC Energy using the hashtags AskSE and Sustainable Energy. Tell us your thoughts, ask us some questions and we'll endeavour to put them to our experts. Now in the next episode we're going to be looking at oil and the role that it has to play in a sustainable energy future. But until then join in the conversation on Twitter and keep thinking green. Goodbye. Bye -bye. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.